PTW News 7. The world is in shambles. Has believing in Santa Claus given you cancer? Does washing your butt make you hate your family? Pedophiles, those are things. Does owning a toaster mean you love ISIS? Does masturbation open portals to other dimensions? Morningwood, will women learn it's just a pee boner? Can swallowing saliva over time turn you gay? Are there furry little Satanists living in your home amongst your children? All these stories, or just one, next on PTW News 7. Welcome back, Hellbound Heathens, to the My Favorite Sid Divine Veterinary Laboratory and Part-Time Meth Kitchen, because science is expensive. We know you atheists scoff at the term Christian science, so we're going back in the lab to prove you wrong once again. This week, we're bringing yet another special science communicator to introduce all of you heathens to the conversation. Here's our friend, Professor Trish. Like fish. To pose the hottest scientific debate burning across the Twitter sphere. I tweeted, do dogs have brains? Because I like seriously wanted to know. Of course, dogs are, um, are mammals. Right? Yeah, right, right. Dogs are mammals, they're humans, or no, they're not humans. Um, no, 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 wait, wait, tits. No. They're part of the animal kingdom that God created. I love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Jesus. Titties, giant. <laughs> mm. Dogs can't talk, so do they have brains? Hmm. That's true. No talky, no brainy. We searched through mankind's entire scientific record, including the Book of Doggeronomy, and all we could find was a talking snake. They can't talk, so what? How, how do you explain that? Like, how do you explain having a brain but not being able to talk? We're, we're pretty sure that dogs can't talk. And that they can't walk. They don't talk the talk. It just opposed the walking. If so, facto, collabo, no, of the walk. Do dogs walk? Do dogs walk? It's like, yes, they walk, but it's because we're telling them to walk. Just like if I were to tell my computer to turn off, it would turn off. Like, it doesn't mean my computer has a brain. Do you know what I mean? If you guys can shed light, I would be really interested to hear what you think if dogs have brains or not, and can it scientifically be proven? Hmm, that's a good question. And that is a question the scientific community has never tackled. I see an opportunity for us. You know, it's it's a serious like issue. It's like a serious question, because if they're not human or they don't have brains, like why are they on this earth? Is it you know, for, is there life on another planet? You know, I mean, these are all questions you have to consider when asking these things, and I don't want to get too philosophical on it, being like, oh, where did we all come from? What happens when the world ends? Is it just black? Is it just blank? Like, what happens, you know? Let's just cover one thing at a time. Come on, baby. Cool your tits. Like, I love all God's creatures, and I see, you know, other human beings, and I can just find so much love for them, but I'm so terrified of dogs. I'm so beyond scared of dogs that I actually, like, will, you know, go on a different sidewalk or, like, go out of my way to avoid dogs because they're scary. And so then I think, is this, you know, Christian intuition saying, like, this is not a creature of God? It sounds like we need to get our Bunsen burners in the lab to get our specimens tested. Why are they on this earth? This is not a creature of God. Why 
Like dogs? No, I don't like them. No, fuck you, Johnny! <laughs> All right, Sid, that was a good move. That was a very good move, but you can't beat the master. Oh, fuck you! Good <laughs> 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 Fucking impossible! And after this very challenging round of tests and a visit to Pat's vet for dewormer, we've determined that the results are inconclusive. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs>